Hello students, welcome to WeTeach. So now in this session, we'll discuss about the other type of search techniques which are used in non-deterministic situations. So maybe if you consider the environment for artificial intelligence system, so you have different types of environment. That is, you have a deterministic environment and non-deterministic environment. So what do you mean by deterministic environment? Deterministic environment means you will be able to observe what is there in front of a uh, front of a robot. Non-deterministic environment means we don't know what is what are there in the surroundings of a robot. So now what we usually know is your robot or else any artificial intelligence system will be taking decisions depending upon the input that it has perceived. So if, if it doesn't perceive complete information properly, what will happen? Maybe it might be taking wrong actions or else it will be taking wrong decisions. So now now in this particular topic we will try to perform searching process based on non-deterministic situations or environments so now searching with non-deterministic actions non-deterministic actions means we don't know that is a machine will will not uh, consider that that is not perceived actually so when the environment is either partially observable or non-deterministic what do you mean by partially observable partially observable means Maybe only front view is present. Maybe, uh, maybe your machine may not know what is present in the backward. Suppose if you consider a self-driving car, if you don't put sensors or cameras at the back positions also, when you are taking reverts or else when the machine self-driving car is taking reverts, it has to know what is there at the back also. So if it is not able to perceive what is there, which objects are present at the back, Maybe it will proceed, that is it may move back but there is some object which is present at the back. So if that is not perceived, then it will take wrong decision. So that is what is called partially observable environment. What do you mean by non-deterministic? Non-deterministic means we don't know what is happening. What is the next action that will be taken will not be known. So that is what is called non-deterministic. So now if that is the case, the future percepts cannot be determined in advance. So non-deterministic means a few, what happens in the future may not be determined. So if these are the two cases, that is your robot is having a partially observable environment and the actions that is happening uh, are non-deterministic. If this is the case, the agent future actions will depend upon the future perspects. So now in this cases, how do you find a searching process or else how do you find a solution to a given problem in AI? So that is what we discuss now. So what are non-deterministic problems? Transition model is defined by results function that returns a set of possible outcome states. So solution is not a sequence here. So when, when you consider a solution maybe in the previous cases solution is something which is properly given but here when you come to non-deterministic problems here the solution will be it will not be a like a, a plan like a, it will not be like some sentence do or else like a command it will be like some a contingency plan which we call it as a strategy here right for example if you consider suppose if you want to perform an action called suck operation so what is what will be given here if state is 5 if state of that particular machine is 5 then what we need to do you need to turn right and perform suck operation so this is something which is which we have discussed in the first unit called robot vacuum cleaner problem right so in vacuum cleaner what we will do we have some room and here we have we have two rooms room a room a and room b so now here I have some, some dirt and maybe here also I have some dirt. So now what the vacuum cleaner has to do is, the vacuum cleaner has to just perform actions like moving, moving from one room to another room, sucking and next or else sitting idle, right? So these are the operations that the vacuum cleaner has to do now. So now what will happen? Suppose if it here it observes it observes this particular room and feels that there is dirt available so what operation it will perform it will perform suck operation so once the suck operation is over what will happen the entire dirt which is present in room b is cleaned so now what it has to do it has to move to the 
next direction that is it has to move left so what directions it is moving left so again what it will do now the robot will be present here so the robot vacuum cleaner will be here so now what this vacuum cleaner will do the vacuum cleaner performs suck operation again so now what happened after performing suck, suck operation the complete dirt is over again what it has to do it has to move to the next direction so now after observing this particular environment and feeling that there is no dirt available again it moves to the right right direction so now your vacuum cleaner will be present where it will be present here again it will observe whether there is dirt or not if it is it will perform suck if not it will be idle right so this is what is called non deterministic problem so in non deterministic environments agent can apply end or graphs and or search trees we call it maybe in the previous cases we have seen some search trees maybe in informed and uninformed search strategies we have drawn some trees search tree which are properly or trees they are all or search trees but here in non deterministic problem we perform we use end or search graphs simple example for end or is suppose see i just want to pass the exam so what we will do for that for that you should perform two operations one directly by copying you can pass the exam two is you should read and write the exam suppose consider you want to pass the exam so what you can do now you can do two things one directly by copying you can pass the exam second one is by reading and writing you can pass the exam so here in the second option what we are doing you are having to end right so read and then write so in the first case directly copy so this is the example so this is the case where you have end or graphs here so in this non deterministic environments agents can apply this end or search to generate contingency plans that will help to reach the goal regardless of their outcomes during the execution process so let's see how this end or search trees will be so here in end or search trees you will have two nodes suppose in the previous example what is the example we have done a student passing the exam right so how you can represent one by copying the content and then writing the exam next one is he will pass the exam by reading if he is a student he will read and then write the exam so this is end so this is one case this is another case and in this case all both the things should happen right so these are considered these are considered as end nodes and this is considered as or node so what is r node now in a deterministic environment the only branching is introduced by the agent's own choice in each state we call those nodes as or, or nodes so what do you mean by end nodes here see end nodes are represented like this end nodes will be represented like this this one and this one so that means if this should happen both the things should happen so that is what is called end node here so in a non deterministic environment rather than using or nodes mostly we will be using end nodes here so branching is also introduced by the environment's choice of outcome for each action and we call those as end nodes here so combination of all these are considered as ao ao tree we call it right so ao ao graph or ao tree end or tree right so now how do find a solution here so a solution for an end or search problem is a subtree that has a goal node goal node is nothing but the leaf nodes that are present here and it specifies one action at each of its or node so you will have some actions and also includes every outcome branch at each of its end node here right and suppose if you observe so this is how you do it this is how this is for maybe the example that we have discussed that is vacuum cleaner problem so in vacuum cleaner problem what we are doing we are we our operation is to just clean the room that's all so for that for that particular problem this is the end or graph that we have represented and all the bold nodes which are present here will try to move to the 
gold state or else try, try to help to get the solution for a given problem right so this is about endor graph for vacuum cleaner problem so let's see the example for endor graph so what inputs we are taking we are taking the problem as an input here and what it will return it will not return any value here it will return some strategy or else it will return some plan or else it will return some failure so now what we have and we have one more which is called or search tree so and or and or search graphs two we will have so if for that the inputs are initial state and the problem and some empty set so if you consider or search what do we have in or search here so the inputs that are considered is the current state the problem as it is and final path that we give right so what it will return similarly it will return a, a strategy or else it will return a failure so every time what you need to do is when you perform some action or else when you move from one state to another state you need to perform some gold state so that is what is called gold test we call it so check every time whether it is a goal or not if it is a goal what we will do we will empty the plan because we have reached right so we don't need a plan now if that is not the case if state is or is on path then return failure so for each action in the problem what we need to do we need to add that particular to the plan every time so every time what action we have taken that should be added to the plan if plan is not equal to failure then return that plan and all the actions that are taken during the plan as an outcome if this is not the case you will return failure similarly coming to the end search so here the inputs for end search are also the current state the problem that we consider and the path uh, that is to be considered to uh, to reach the goal state so it will return the conditional uh, strategy or else conditional plan or strategy to reach a goal state or else it will return a failure so for each si in states for each and every states that are present what we need to do we need to perform this or search and finally that path should be returned by this or search which we have just now discussed so if that plan is a failure that is if you don't get any plan then we will we will not give any outcome if that is not the case we will uh, return every time if s1 is the case that is if your if your state is s1 you will return plan 1 if your state is s2 for every new new state you have you have some new plans designed for designed by or search right and this is what is called what is called ar search algorithm so here in ar search algorithm you will be using ao search tree in order to perform a search process so this is how you do searching in non deterministic problems thank you